born in Richmond, Virginia in the United States and uh, have been really teaching almost all my whole life uh, in mostly gifted education services, but now it's broadened, of course, with this World Peace Game geopolitical simulation. The World Peace Game is a 4x4x4 four by four by four plexiglass tower with thousands of game pieces, pieces emulating the earth, uh, undersea, ground and sea, aircraft level, outer space level, and kids solve all, all the world's major problems on it. And this week here in Adelaide at the Annesley School, the children have just astounded me. They've come from behind in this game and won the game at the last minute. And it was just a miraculous uh, achievement, really, because they've been overwhelmed and confused and thrown into chaos, given 50 interlocking global problems, and yet they've sorted through it in five days somehow, without help from the teacher, without my guidance, but they've created a coherence and, and function out of chaos and nothingness. They really did. Yeah. It really was marvelous, yeah. Over the five days, what we've observed is just how the girls and the boys are actually developing as individuals. How their self-esteem is, is developing, how they're problem solving, how they're trying to come to terms with some quite difficult concepts and ideas. So the, the game is just this way of getting them to interact and think deeply about the issues of surrounding the world today. It's been really good to see um, what other people observe in my students and how I observe their students who I don't know. Um, so it's been really good to unpack those thoughts and processes but also to then listen to John Hunter and unpack his whole 41 years of doing the World Peace Games and all the things that he has learnt and changed and developed over that time and how we can now use those same skills and processes with our children in our classrooms. We're dealing with people who are like-minded. They are talking about the most important thing and that's the child's learning. We want them to help them facilitate in everything um, that will help them grow into amazing people in this world who can make a difference. Playing the World Peace Games will be more information to gain from me than ever in the game. From planning the world we are in the world, so each person is precious so well. Like, if we were the prime minister and the secretary says, oh, I feel like we could probably do the job, like, it would be pretty well um, I think we can do it. This seed we're planting here in Adelaide, we'd like to see the growth, the blossom, the bloom, the fruit in decades from now. So that uh, after I'm done, they can carry on the practice. I think we're in 36 countries, we've trained over 600 educators in about 10 years. But we, we need to move faster, move more quickly. You know, we don't know how much time we have. So we've got to give this away. If it can be helpful for teachers, helpful for our children, in dealing with the problems that they're going to face that we have left to them. We have to do everything we can. We keep by the players, World Peace Game 1!